Cyberpunk is dead. It's what I'm seeing more or less all over the place. Well guys, I ask you that very question today. Is Cyberpunk dead? Personally, I feel it's only getting started, but according to BS reports I'm seeing, which we will get to the bottom of today in this news roundup, Cyberpunk is indeed dead. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So over the past few days I have seen numerous posts on social media by yet again companies begging for those clicks with outrageous titles, some I won't even bring more attention to. But I am seeing many posts all over social media from said company stating the game has lost more or less 80% of its player base and it's dying faster than it got started. This poll put out by GameSpot after they first tweet saying 79% of its player base stopped playing and the poll they put out then asked their followers if they were still playing the game. This guys is so false it's unreal and for a few reasons. 79% of its player base on Steam have stopped playing. Nothing to do with consoles, but think about it. This is a single player RPG which can be completed. People will complete this and play other games and wait for DLC. I mean, that's just how it works. I feel this game right now will only get better. And based on this poll, folk who are interested in the game, 41% voted, they never even started playing. This is 100% due to the bad start the game had, with the countless problems more so on those older platforms. So GameSpot as we do know who love those clicks are at it again with their false reports. Funny enough guys as I make this video their latest tweet said this, after 7 weeks at number 1, Cyberpunk has finally been outsold on Steam. Nothing in between the Twitter poll and this tweet in terms of anything positive to say. And although this shows how decent the game did, it's negativity here in which they are using for clicks. And no, it's not working with me. And yeah, I know for sure many people watching this will comment saying the game is trash, it's broke, it's rubbish, CDPR sold it on false promises and it's nothing like how they promised. I respect each and every one of your guys' opinions, but for the most part there I'd have to disagree. Underneath the bugs and glitches this game is incredible. And yes, I'd agree right now, that's hard to see. But give it time guys, again, which I'd also agree with you on a point, time shouldn't be an excuse, it should have been perfect on release, there is no excuse for that, and I ain't making excuses for them. But here we are, we have what we have, and for sure with no excuse, I do think over the coming months, this game will indeed show its true colours, and what it is capable of. And this is the message I'm giving out to people who can't see its potential right now. As I know there are thousands of you out there who are playing the game who like me, see it like I do and see it as being an incredible game. But yeah right now it's player base is down, no question about it, but does it mean the game is dead? Like I said, it's a single player game, you can 100% complete it and it's something people will indeed do, they will complete it then stop playing it. Whereas there are some of us who will continue playing it making new V's and running things over a game with different builds. And no doubt when those DLCs drop, this game will flourish yet again with thousands of players coming back. I mean I say this for the DLCs but I also think patches which will slowly fix the game will also bring in a massive new portion of players who didn't even start playing the game. So let's be real with ourselves, would you recommend this game? If you was recommending this game to a friend of yours who had no idea about it, what would you say? And that is how you gotta think about things. But yeah I do think as the game gets better and it will get miles better, I reckon over the coming months we may get the game that we should have got on release and probably even before this happens we will get those 3 DLCs, not sure what they will add but I don't think it will be anything major for now. But I do think before any major DLC drops, any paid for DLC drops, the game will be in a state it should have been at at release. Ok so let's move on from the negativity, oh ok then. Maybe not at the moment as it's more or less all negative for CBPR right now which is kind of sad. But reports started coming in last night that UOKIK, Poland's Office of Competition and Consumer Protection, is looking into the confusion around the game's launch and have asked CD Projekt Red for an explanation into what occurred. A UOKIK spokesperson, and this is translated from Polish by the way, explained we are asking the company for an explanation regarding problems with the game and actions taken by them. 
We will check how the developer is working on patches or solving issues preventing players on various consoles, but also what steps this company is planning to take regarding people who requested refunds and are not happy with their purchase because they can't play the game on owned hardware, despite assurances by the producer. And right now as I make this video guys, you OKIK will await CDPR's explanation and then decide on the next steps. And these steps could be quite significant guys. You OKIK could choose to find the company up to 10% of its income for the last financial year. But you OKIK could alternatively ask the developer to issue digital bonuses to those who bought the game for last gen consoles. So yeah guys, the bad news is partly none, CDPR so it seems. But hey, as soon as that good news is dropped guys, obviously I'll have it covered right here on my channel. Because we only want good things for this game. Okay, so in other news, and this is what I covered earlier people, but just in case you missed it, we know of further details about multiplayer. As a few data miners got into the files within the game we have right now, and showcased some of what are no doubt files to do with multiplayer. Now if you missed the video, I will link it below, I won't get into the whole thing right now. But they found files and features to do with a heist mode and a deathmatch mode. And although we know multiplayer won't be here for a long, long time, it's still great to see that placeholder items for what eventually will be there are already here. But let's be honest, they have a long, long, long way to go and a lot of fixes to apply before multiplayer hits this game. And I do believe we will see many free and paid for DLCs before multiplayer too. Again though people, if you want to know more about that multiplayer and what was found, that video will be linked down below. And well guys, the end of the video is here. Again, as soon as that good news drops, I will have it covered right here on my channel. So subscribe if you're new around here and want to see all things cyberpunk on a daily basis. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.